Hello friends, I'm Alex Pali, Ukrainian historian, and now I tell you about Russian history. Some true facts about Russian history. You never had it from Russian historians and never read in Russian books. Why? Because official Russian history is even bigger lie than words of present Russian officials. Real Russian history is the biggest Russian top secret. So the beginning. Since ancient time, Rus was the name applied only to central Ukraine. The key of Chernihiv and Pereyaslav principalities, Iyad, the territory of modern Kyiv, Zhitomir, Chernihiv oblasts and parts of Sumy, Cherkasy, Vinnitsa and Poltava oblasts of Ukraine. Starting from the 12th century, it was extended to include Western Ukraine. Princes believed that Rus or Central Ukraine was their homeland, Vochina or patrimony. The other dependent territories they are fought as fought of as being subject to Rus. Prince of Kiev Svetoslav the Brave subjected to Kiev the lands of Zalesia which would later become Central Russia and were inhabited by Finno-Ugric tribes or peoples Meria, Buroma, Mishora, Moksha, etc. at the time. And present-day Russians mostly are descendants of these Finno-Ugric peoples Meria, Buroma, Mishora, Moksha, etc. In the time of Kievan Rus, the population of Ukraine was called Rusini or Rusins. The name Rusin legendary persisted in central Ukraine until the 18th century, in Halicina and Bukovina in western Ukraine, until the 20th century, and in some places in Ukrainian Zakarpatia until this day. The outskirts of Kievan state where the Russian and Belarusian peoples later arose, were not called Rus. Neither then, then they were under Kiev's rule until the 12th century, nor several, later, several centuries later. Imperial Russian ideologues have tried to create a myth that the capital of Rus allegedly moved first from Novgorod to Kyiv and then from Kyiv. However, the Varangians or Normans could not bring with them the name of Rus because this name was used in reference to Ukraine in the writings of 4th century of the Gothic historian Jordan and in the books of 6th century in Syrian author pseudo Zaharia Ritter while the Varangians appeared in the historical arena in the late of 8th century. In Muscovy itself, the term Russia began to be used in reference to this country by the authorities as late as in the 15th century. Then the idea of seizing Ukraine's lands began to circulate there. This word is taken Rus is taken from the Greek language because it was common knowledge at the time that Rus was the territory of Ukraine. Muscovy was finally renamed as Russia by the Tsar's Ukazes of 1713 and 1721. In the late 18th century, Empress Catherine II ordered people under the threat of login to identify themselves as Russians and banned the customary designation Muscovites. All the princes of Kyiv or of Principality of Galicia Volinia bore the names princes and rulers of all Rus land and their seals had the inscription King of Rus. Of, for example, as of uh, Galicia Volinia. In contrast, Andrei Bogolubsky, the prince of Suzdal, the first Russian, reportedly wanted to be the ruler of all Suzdal lands. The Kiev state 
freed the ancestors of Russians from tribes Meria, Meshora, etc. From having to pay tribute to the Khazars, taught them literacy and introduced them to Christian culture. However, in the mid-12th century, the ancestors of Russia separated from Kyiv and created their own state, Suzdal, which later came to be known as Muscovy. The borders of principality of Vladimir Suzdal, of core of Russia, present-day Russia, the woods of the Finno-Ugric tribe Meria. Kievan princes sent their youngest sons to rule there. Suzdal princes were able to build strength, while Rus, so central Ukraine and western Ukraine, was wearing down in the struggle against the steppe peoples. Since the 12th century, the descendants of Mstislav the Great, Kievan prince, ruled largely in Ukraine and in Smolensk and Dovgorod, which were subordinated to Kyiv, while the descendants of Yuri Dolgoruki, Monomach's youngest son, son, ruled in Zalesia, with increasing independence. Andrei Bohalupsky, a son of Yuri Dolgoruki, was born of Kuman woman, Han Ayepa's daughter, and had the peculiar features of the Asian steppe people. In his struggle against Kyiv, Bogolubsky constantly supported his kin people, the Kumans, who were the main enemy of Rus at the time. Bogolubsky said, there is no room for me in Rus. He was the first to break the three-century-long tradition of the Rurik princes to recognize Kyiv and the Kyiv region at their only homeland. Bogolubsky stole the famous icon of the Mother of God, later known as the Teotokos of Vladimir, which had been brought from Byzantium to Mstislav the Great. Bogolubsky took it from Vyshgorod near Kyiv to Vladimir on Klasma, so it was the beginning of Russia. And Russian historian Kluchevsky said that Bogolubsky was the first Russian. So, all history of Kievan Rus is Ukrainian history, not Russian. Rus is exclusively Ukrainian name, which Russia stole Moscovy, Muscovy, stole in 15th, 18th centuries. They changed the name of brand and took it from, not from Slavonic, but from Greek language, because at the time all peoples knew who and where was Rus. But Abibas brand, Abibas is not brand Adidas. And brand Mercedes is not Mercedes-Benz. The first Slavic name of Russia was Zalesia, not Rus. And best wishes and good luck to all of you. Good luck.